Hey everyone, and welcome hey to The Witcher 3 on Blood and Wine, part 63, where we're on our way to the last few points of interest before we uh, continue our crusade against... Well, not really vampires, I suppose. We don't really know yet. That was very easy. Kick you more breeding ground. Gotta destroy it if they're to disappear for good. He keeps saying that, and then he only destroys a few of them. And it just doesn't make any sense anymore, girl. Make up your mind. I guess that really was all there was. That is not a very exciting point of interest right there. So that means we have these two left, right next to the main quest, and then is, is it really empty? Did I really empty it out? Yeah. Yeah, I, I emptied it out. Not so Can you fast, Roach. Calm down, alright. Here. I guess I can't use it now because go, go. Roach is already calm. I mean, I beg to differ, but. I guess she's calm. Ish. These wolves must be getting so confused because I passed these packs quite a few times now and I kept ignoring them. And they're probably just looking around like, why doesn't he even Something's try? Right. Again? Something's not right again. I guess it's not really a special thing to say. I think I just upgraded again. I can't upgrade again, so it doesn't even matter if I get hit now. So what is this then? Nailpora's farewell letter. Okay. Why? Now I know. Life is perfect. Life is excellent. Life is full of magic, beauty, possibility. And drama and surprises. Numerous surprises. You, father, are also in for a surprise. You did not wish for your son to become an actor. You chose another home for him. The army. So your son has a surprise for you. His feet will never touch the ground again. He will never again taste life's beauty. And you, father, soon you must reach up to your son's hanging corpse and take the sack full of crowns, crowns for which you sold his life to butchers. Wow. That is very dark. Everyone's father is a scumbag in this world. Or at least most of them. And very few of them aren't. <laughs> well, onwards to our final point of interest then. And the main quest, of course. Oh, I was gonna make you jump in the water. Roach will never know that the water is actually pretty nice. She will never know because she doesn't allow it. You are nearing a turning point in the story. After this, you will no longer be able to finish certain quests. Save your game before going to... Really? Okay. But I wasn't going there. Let's just throw it out there. Oh, wait, you know what I do need to do then, though, is turn in my knight's quest as well. I would almost forget about that. Oh, come on, that should have killed him. That should have, by all accounts, killed him. Except now. Whoa, rude. Thank you. Yes. You may be dead now. It's okay. Calm down. Arcaspores will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. The area, even. Just destroy the entire area. Set it on fire. All of it. Seems a bit much. Geralt. Calm down. Okay, so I need to turn in this last quest that I have. Knights for a higher, and that is really the last one. Yeah, it's really the last one. 
So let's do that. And then we'll be back to do the thing. I should have taken Roach there with me. I say that every single time. My place does look nice now, doesn't it? Although even even if it's my what? What? Wait, did he? Did she just say they could use a Witcher around here full time? She does know that this is my estate, right? It's it's I I live here. This is my place. Guess she doesn't care. Doesn't know. That's even worse. How could she not know that she's working for me? What? My poster is everywhere. I won the Gwen tournament. I won the championships. I won... I don't know, a lot of stuff. I won a lot of stuff. I did a lot of stuff. I'm here by the Duchess' orders. How does she not know this? I need to fire somebody. Probably the person introducing new guest workers to my estate or something. To that effect. Wait, no, that would be that would be BB. We can't kill him. Kill him? Okay, wow, that's going a bit too far. Fire even. The witch world, man. Oh, it's taking it too far. Greetings, knight. Much is said in Beauclair of your bravery and dedication. Thus, your security claim to compensation. The sign here, please. Care for a game of Gwen. Never mind. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night. Oh, I got a new item for that. Oh, I can put that in my. I could put that in my estate, can't I? It's a. I got a shield. Where is it? No, not a roach. Other, I guess. Would it be other? Where do you put that? Where would you put a shield? I got a shield though. I also have a bunch of paintings now. And a lot of letters. Okay, well. Let's go and go back to my place. Put my shield somewhere. Wait. Oh, yeah, no, I guess I can go this way. I need to spruce up my place. It's important. Nice tune. Nice place, Geralt. This is a nice place. Yeah, yes, let's travel on. To my place in Corvo Bianca. Where I will put a shield on the wall. Because I'm a hero. Heroes have shields on their walls. It got a lot darker since last time. Roach is just sitting about in the stables. My own very monster infected wine cellar. I guess a witcher really could not have a monster infested wine cellar. That would be so awful. Wait, can I change this? No, I can extinguish it though. Ha ha ha. Oh, candles, you troll. Hmm. Yes, no, actually this needs a, a better setting somewhere, doesn't it? What do we have? Let's see. We have a nice little shield place here. No, we have a painting place here. Doesn't this need a much more prominent place? No, nope, because we can put a beautiful sword here. See? That's how we do. And we can put another one here. That is so fitting. The Feneth, yes, that one. What's this? Is this my bedroom? No. I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. Aww. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brought us a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. 
Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. Okay. Well, hopefully it does taste better than the white one because, oh, that brought up my toxicity levels. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. We are just being extremely polite against each other constantly now. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. That must be so ni nice as a Witcher, though. Because Witchers don't have that. Wow. I do always have food waiting. Thank you. I will take that. Yes. Put a whole chicken in that box. I don't know how you managed, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not gonna take my own hand fibers, obviously. That'd be silly. This is the dining place. That is painting I hung up. Didn't I not have more paintings than this, though? Because I'm so sure that I did. And I just scrolled past them. Oh, I see the shield hanging out, actually. Here, these are definitely Starry Night of the Pontar. Yeah, it's a landscape. Item needed to complete. Oh, portrait of Aris and Allbeard. Yeah, okay. Can't use that one, obviously. Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. Nice. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. I get free wine. How good is that? I knew it was a good idea to help these people. Okay, let's make uh, the Viper armor here. Viper trousers, Viper gauntlets, Viper boots. Somehow you don't look complete. I wonder what's missing. Although, I guess we can call this the ghost armor. And we'll, uh... Why was this here? Oh, right, because I forgot about that, didn't I? Warrior's leather jacket. Oh, I don't even actually have the whole thing here anymore, do I? Actually, why don't I just put it here? Yes, I can just put the warrior's pot thing here with the rest of the gear because it looks almost the same. Sure. And this one can have an elegant Beauclair set with some new moon gauntlets, I guess. Oh, look how nice it looks. Wonder what Jennifer would say of that. Yeah, I don't actually have more sets than that. Oh, I need to get my new moon set back. What else do we have here? Oh, I can place trophies? Where? I saw a place trophy thing. Oh, I kind of need to have my painting in my bedroom, don't I? I really do. I, I do. Come painting. I will find a better place for you in my bedroom. For Yennefer to look at. Yes, yes, I know this playthrough doesn't have Yennefer in it, but... My canon has Yennefer in it. So, let me have this. That's better. So where was this trophy placing work? Trophy placing work. Is it here? Is this a trophy placing rack? No, don't do that. Oh, no, I'm just reading here. Right, right, of course. 
Oh, I have another bed. I have so many beds. I don't know where to put my trophies, though. Ah, here we go. Fist fighting champion. Victor's cup. Gold stick of joy. So is this actually my bedroom? I guess it is. Isn't that nice, girl? Isn't that a nice bed? Oh! 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 I completely forgot about this! <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll sleep. Oh, I should have slept here each time, huh? How could I forget? But Geralt feels top of the morning right now. It's time to... My back aches, something horrid. I was talking, but then... One of my workers were upset again, Bread as they usually are. Actually, I don't have to teleport at all. Um, should I just walk this? I don't know. Guess I can use the exercise. Then again, so can Roach, because apparently Roach has extra stamina. Yeah, we're gonna use Roach. For those last few feet, yes, yes, of course. Oh right, I should save my game properly, shouldn't I? Okay. Dead game. On this empty slot. Okay. Get up. Proper save. But I've done all the quests. I did not miss a thing. So it'll be okay. Expect armed resistance. The strength of the fortifications remains unknown. Your foes have committed treason. You fight them for the good of the duchy. Captain Delator will give you the details. I like how he's addressing Roach as well at the same time. It's like, yes, let's do it. We got this. Can I talk to him? Talk to the commander. Where is the commander? Yeah, well, not here yet. All right, we'll make it midnight. Let's see what's going to go down. Hello, Commander Man. Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? Absolutely. See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Antine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk. But I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. He senses I will handle it well. Does he have witcher senses too? Eh? still interesting that Roach never gets hurt on my missions. I find that miraculous. Like I said, magical horse as well. So it begins. Quick, we grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. 
We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. Not so fast. I am a witch. Oh god, that's actually the wrong one. Sorry I set you on fire. Did not actually mean to do that, uh, strangely enough. I know, I know you'd think that I would, but <laughs> really I didn't mean to. So much promises. Okay, I didn't mean to do that though. Like, I mean... Oh, 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 that was not part of the plan. <laughs> Set you on fire. He killed Hugo and Balan. Oh, that's very specific. Time to kill Roderick and George. Oh, no, wait. Roderick's the castle lord. George and Stefan. Don't do that. It's just... Oh, you're a dual wielder. Oh, you don't even stagger? How'd that happen? Roach is not amused. Oh, it's not Roach. Roderick it's just to get the horses. He's looking to flee. Can't let him. Okay. Can't let him flee. All right. I also can't use my Witcher senses clearly. So I have to go this way. Hmm. I see no ducals along the road. Hmm, they must not be guarding it. Roderick was right. We can flee. We'll manage. Bloody bots! Faster. What was that? Look those crates on the wagon. Oh, wait, what? Too late to surrender. It's usually too late to surrender. If I'm not. If I'm not mistaken. Roderick is right. Trying to escape. But be careful if you drop any. If you drop any, we'll be upset. Someone's here. They've breached the back wall. Come on. Kill him. Oh, rude. Go on, lads. Beat the bum butcher. What? I'm a witcher. Oh, wow. That guy is not lucky. And he's also dead. No oh, 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 that hurts my face. Don't do that. Surround him! Surround and kill! Go on, lads! Beat the <laughs> bum butcher! You have one guy left. Are you I serious about you this? Rogue. You're not serious about this, right? Roderick. Mistake. Yes, that is a mistake, Roderick. <laughs> if I can set him on fire. Let's try. Yes, I can. Oh, how nice. Yeah, punch you in the back. Critical damage. I you could say that again. And you're dead. Or I guess not, because your text was burned. Mercy! Mercy! I, I did no wrong. Nah. Kept the wrong damn company. Centrian's men. Where are they? Uh, uh, I knew I shouldn't have let them under my roof. Okay, but where are they? Uh, we should ask about the woman first. Where's the hostage? The woman? Wh what? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. So... He doesn't know about that, which somewhat solidifies further my theory that the woman Detlaf was dating is actually the one blackmailing him. Is it? We don't know. Where are they now? In, in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them. Woman named Siana. Of, of course. She, she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack, packing. We were to leave together. An old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It, yes. Her chamber is in the tower. The top floor. What? What will become 
Of me. Um. Uh, oh wow. I don't know this guy. I can't make a judgment here. I actually don't know him. Why would I help him? Is there a case for helping him? Not really, no. I guess he was in love with Sienna, who played him. Further solidifying... Okay, you know. You know what I mean. I guess he's not my problem. I'm gonna say he's not my problem. I have no idea if this guy is a good guy or a bad guy, but it really isn't my problem, so I'll just leave it to the duchy, because it is their problem. Leaving you to the Ducal Guard, if you don't bleed to death in the meantime. Chewie, a pox upon you! How you like that silver? What? Geralt? Really? That's what you open with? How you like that silver? What is happening? Uh, people are dead. The, the, the what? The Iron Borg? Is this another? Wow. Okay. Kale. Have we met a kill? That is just rude. This guy hurts. I need to eat an olive. Clearly an olive has restorative powers. Stop calling me Stronte. Did you know Stront means... It means poop. Dutch. So he's calling me a little shit. I'm just saying. I mean, come on. You will die, you little stronza. Oh, ow, ow, my face. I will dare you to shreds. No, you won't. You're dead. Give me your. You have nothing of value. Okay. Still can't use my Witcher senses either. That that confuses me greatly. Someone's dead. Get the ropes out. Someone's dead. Get the ropes out. This guy's repeating himself. Eat another olive. I need to use my fire actually. To set them all on fire. Ow, my face. I might die. Don't want to die though. Let's eat another olive. Okay, no, we're, we'll just go and die. I think that's a good idea. Why not? Right, I had some time to contemplate in the loading screen, and I think I'll make a little cut here because, uh, yeah, I'm going over time again. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue.